Hello Bellinas, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be showing you how to make a jumpsuit. Now I've gone ahead to cut out my trouser part, down part of my jumpsuit. Of course you should know that a jumpsuit is simply a top added to a trouser. In case you don't know how to cut a trouser, I already made an extensive video for that in four different parts or five rather. And it's in my channel, you can get that in my channel. Now the difference between a normal trouser and a jumpsuit is that from the waist length is very high okay the normal trouser can stop at the lower waist but for the jumpsuit the waistline is going to be very high higher than um, the normal trouser so I made sure that I extended it that way let me turn it this way so that you see my my lines okay so this is the, my markings this is the middle front the crush area this is my hip line my normal hip line is supposed to be seven inches okay from that is waist to hip is supposed to be seven inches but here i have made it up to 11 10 and a half inches or 10 rather okay that is because my jumpsuit is going to be very high attached to a, a top which is also going to be stopping at the higher waist level just below the under bust and of course my crush line here is 13 inches as against the normal 11 inches I have made sure that it's very long Okay, so that's just the difference between the jumpsuit and the normal trouser. And the, the leg, leg also matters. What kind of shape of the leg are you going to have give your jumpsuit? For me, it's a straight leg, so that's why I'm going straight. If it's a pencil, you come in. If it's a book cut, you, you go out. I really explained that in the trouser video, so you want to check my channel for that. And of course, this is the back piece of my trouser as well. Okay, this is the crush area. And um, this is the side. So, like I explained in my extensive trouser tutorial video, the back piece is always bigger than the front piece at the crotch side. Okay, as you can see here, at the crotch side. Meanwhile, this other shape side is always very equal. All right, and I'm going to be extending this back piece. Okay. I'm going to make it an extension for the back piece. All right. So if you watch that other um, extensive trouser tutorial, you'll notice that at the middle front here, the cross side of the back piece is always very high, higher than the 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 front piece. Okay, that is because of your bum. If you make it straight, you'll be having a V shape where you put all your trousers because of your bum. So you, because um. I'm, my jumpsuit here is very high. I'm using the whole length of my fabric here. So I've made an extension. If you look closely at your jean, jean trouser, or your denim trouser, you'll see the same thing. You'll see a V-shaped line that they top stitched using probably another thread. This is how they do it. So you have to cut out uh, an, a triangle like this. But at the shaping side, it has to be equal. It has to meet with the front piece. So that's the line with the front piece. The extension only comes in at the middle back which is the crush area so now we'll go ahead to make the top of our jumpsuit you can make any top you can make a princess that um, top for it full shoulder asymmetrical neck off the shoulder whatsoever top you want to make for your jumpsuit you can go ahead to do that but today i'll be making an overlapped top for my jumpsuit using the remaining fabric and that is the main focus of um, this tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to make an overlapped top. So now I'm for making my fold for my front piece. And for the width here, I'm having 14 inches. So let me explain. Now, as you know, we always make our fold based on our widest circumference, which is usually our round bust measurement. Now for my round bust here is 8 inches. Now, out of these 8 inches, I'm adding 2 inches for the seam allowance. That's making it 10. And of course, my bust span, which is also my dart, is 3.5 inches. So that will make it 13.5. I just decided to go with 14 inches, okay? So that is why I'm having all together here 14 inches. So like, let me repeat myself again. To make an overlapped top, you first of all consider your dart measurement. That's your bust span. Then you add your actual brown bust measurement divided by 4, whatever that is. Then you add your seam allowance to give you your entire fold on the second press. Then of course for the length, 
but the length is going to be your shoulder to your waist now this waist is your upper waist the exact waist we use when you are making a top with a peplum you know it's always higher above your novel or your belly button point like two inches below your under bust or thereabouts so that is the point you are going to be making because it's a high waist um your your jumpsuit is being attached to your waistline very high at that point i hope you understand that and um, for me shoulder to that waist point that is 16 inches i'm going to be making it 17 inches all right because of the joining here and to avoid this edge of the fabric here so 17 inches um then my shoulder to bust is 9 inches oh sorry 10 inches rather shoulder to under bust is 13 inches so i'll go ahead and mark out my lines the next thing I'm going to do is to remove my um, the overlap, um, this one I gave to it, which is 4 inches. Remember I used my dart for my overlapping. So all the way from the shoulder down to the waistline, I'm going to mark out my 4 inches line. I had to mark out my dart using 3.5 all the way down. Now, if you wish to make your overlap to, both of them should be at the end the two edge of the fabric you want to use the exact round boss or round waist divided by four that means instead of using your dart here if your round waist divided by four is seven that means here you'll be using seven this way when you overlap your clothes will be meeting at the very edge but for here that i use my dart measurement the clothes will be overlapping from that to that and not from one end of the fabric to the other end of the fabric so the next thing we'll do is to start mesh marking our width, which is 7 for our shoulder and of course cover out our armhole this way. Then the rest, next thing is to take my round bust which is 8 inches, under bust which is 7 inches for my under bust and waist which is 7 inches as well. Then add my allowances to it, my seam allowance that way. Then, after which I'm going to be curving my neck, okay? So, for the shoulder line, I'm taking 3 inches. Now, depending on the kind of neck you want to give. Now, this overlap neck is running from the shoulder down to the waist line. So, I want to draw a line, straight line that way. But I don't always like my line to be completely straight. I always like to give it like a curve, something like this then all the way to my full length okay and that is it if you want it to have um, like a button a breasted jacket or something like that you may want to come up this way okay somewhere here or maybe at the upper part above your bust anywhere you curve it let me show you that one and so that you will see all right so supposing i want to make a breasted pattern this way let me cut it out there and show you how. Okay, so let me open this middle part because it has to be opened unlike your normal bodies that to be on the fold. Here it has to be opened. Okay, so let's see for our breasted pattern. So have you seen our overlap? Pardon me, let me nudge the the dart points, my actual dart point, so that I'll know where to stop to overlap it. So this is my overlap allowance here that I use my dart span so my I'm, I'm going to mark my real dart from this point this is acting as my middle point now so three and a half here okay all right so that means if i'm overlapping this will stop here this is what i, I tried to explain earlier if you want this part of your overlapping for the v part to reach this other end you have to consider your waist circumference divided by four so here instead of enlarging it 
with your dart, you are going to be using your entire waist circumference so that by the time you cut like this, it will be meeting with your waist. But that is not necessary for me for this style. I'm okay with this. So if you can see here, I'm having my double breasted um, pattern here, stopping at my dart. You can go ahead and do this style, fix your buttons to it before attaching it to the front piece of your jumps, your trouser to make your jumpsuit. Either, either way, you want to maybe overlap this side instead of using the other side. It's your core. So you can overlap to the left or to the right side. So this is how you get your double breasted um, overlap. As you can see here, the neck depth here is about 8 inches. That's quite decent. So you want to also mind that too. You also want to mind that. If you don't want your breast to be exposed too much, you have to also determine where you'll be curving, making that curve too. So let me bring back the fold. Okay, so if you don't want your breast to be exposed too much, you have to first of all mark where you want it to stop. Then you make your curve to that point. Then the lower you get, the more exposed your breast will be. You may have to put on a camisole or a singlet inside. All right, so that is that for a double breasted um, pattern. But for here, I'm not making that, I'm making um, a straight curve. So I'm going to curve that out to meet here okay like this I don't mean this is the actual line I drew at first so let me go back to my line so by the time you open it now this is what you'll be having okay this is what you'll be having you may want to extend here to the waistline by add, making your round waist extension like I explained earlier so this is how to make that front body. The only difference with your normal top is to extend the dart, okay, before you go ahead to make it. Then we'll go back to making the back bodies now. So I've made my the back piece of my upper bodies. I gave it a little high round neck here. And of course, I slanted this down part at the middle front so that there will not be a V-shaped dent. And of course, I cut out my dart up to the bust level. Yes, the back dart used to be very high. And um, another important step is for you now to consider the fact that at the waistline of your jumpsuit, the lower part, which is your trouser, okay this is the middle front and this is the middle front the crush area is the middle front of our jumpsuit so i'm turning it this way you want to ensure that at the end of the day it will be equal okay this waist part that is meeting here should be equal so by the time i join my dart as you can see it's wider than it because of the dart yet okay so by the time i join my dart attach my dart to it like this it should be equal with what i have here if not, you'll be fine. I'm having a challenge which you might want to trim off later, but ensure that whatever seam allowance you are adding, let it be equal. Let both parts be equal at the waistline. The same thing goes for the front as well. The same thing goes for the front as well. The waistline, the upper part of your jumpsuit is also meeting with the lower part. Now, this is the side, this is the middle front, and of course, remember it's meeting at the dart this front that here okay so now i actually removed my pocket for here by the time you add you are attaching your pocket you will see get back this place that i cut out so let's assume it's somewhere here on a straight line i'd be going and this is my that's where i'm going to start attaching the front remember it's an overlap so you want to ensure that it is equal there's no front that for the front okay that the front is plainness without that so you want to ensure that it is equal to be able to meet so that you don't have any excesses and your jumpsuit to come out well. So you want to go ahead and um, the first step in making this is to, if you are using lining for it, you go ahead and attach your lining and turn. If you are not using lining, you want to hem it using a bias. This neckline, you want to do your hemming for it using a bias. And then you, you have to make your front bodies one again after turning with lining or hemming with allowance you want to make your front bodies into one again so you are going to stitch it back at those points that i made that point okay and then before you now sew here using half an inch allowance your crush 
by the time you finish sewing it you open it and it will be equal you start joining all right now um for the jumpsuit the zipper always goes to the back you may want to make it at the side but then i don't know how convenient that will be for you you would want to put it on so you always make the zipper at the back as well so just like you will fix the zipper to your normal um gown which has a half cut the same way you fix your zipper to your jumpsuit that has a half cut as well so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching please subscribe and until i come your way next time bye for now